took it from stripping disc to 120 to 180. We left the hood at 120 as an experiment to see if you need to go more than that or if we feel like we need to go more than that rather. All right, got the CJ all stripped down, ready for paint here. We did a acetone wipe a couple times and then a wax and grease remover mixing some primer one to one rust-oleum bare metal primer acetone and japan dryer to help it dry a little faster just a little bit step one is always tuning in the gun See, snow on the ground, doing good. Painting with rust oleum. You know how it goes. See how the other side looks. Pretty good. We got the windshield frame and hinges and stuff over here. So we got the primer on. We got uh, about two coats and we had a little extra. So I just went around and touched a couple of extra areas up. Just letting it flash off right now, which it's probably most of the way there, but giving those spots I touched up just a little extra time. Got the red mixed up now which is going to be 24 ounces total and we have 12 ounces of the sunrise red nine ounces of the acetone and three ounces of the hardener the finish one acme fast hardener because it's kind of cold out today and that'll get us a 431 plus a little japan dryer in there as well spray in the red here in just a minute and then we'll get to the fun part which will be the intercoat which will be the color changing part of this whole equation and it's going to be some color changing pearl and flake that we haven't used before so there will be a little element of surprise for all of us gun set up oh, oh that's not right yeah that's pretty good though you can turn your material up there's a smidge yeah Now it's time to get the inner coat mixed up. We're using this Speedo Coat color blender here and it will get reduced with the urethane grade reducer here at a one to one. 10 of the color blender in there. Now I am going to add 10 of the reducer. I'm straining it first because I cut the filter out of the liners so that the pearl and flake will be able to flow through them properly. So this stuff's kind of smelly. I'm going to try not to breathe while I do this. I should have my mask on, but I got to talk. So I'll stand back here a little bit. This is the color changing pearl. It is called Phoenix Super Ship Pearl by Did Spade. I'm going to go half a recommended. We're going to do one eighth teaspoon per four ounces here. Got 20 ounces, so we're going to do five of these. This is going to make the paint shift from red to gold. Two. Looks like I got plenty enough for doing more coats if I need to. Then I'm going to let it sit for a little bit so that the two parts can activate properly. Just to give you an idea what it's going to look like here, this should suffice. I don't know that we got the light. To... Oh, I just need to walk around with it. You can see it's kind of gold there.
This is the color shift flake that we're using here. It's called Ember. It's recommended one eighth of uh, these teaspoons per four ounces, basically. So we're gonna do the same amount as we did with the pearl. Got this all mixed up real nicely, so I'm gonna get it poured into the cup. for the clear coat. It'll be a four to one. So we got two to three coats of clear on there and we're gonna call it a night. It's about 11 coats total. Turned out pretty nice. So uh, we'll show you what it looks like in the daylight. Overall turned out pretty good. Not too many problems. Not the smoothest finish as you can see here. At least in places. Uh, some places it's actually pretty darn smooth. Uh, like in here it's pretty smooth. And uh, the hood and the cowl are pretty smooth. I think I got a little gun shy because I had some runs kind of in this area on both sides of the hood. I think it was probably my second coat in, but tried to flow coat it as hard, it was dark, and uh, I still haven't figured out how to tune things in for clear coat real well yet, but all in all, pretty happy with how it turned out. Having a hard time seeing some of the red before, but the metallic red is showing up fairly nice in this light here. Tried to get some video of this paint job and a few different lighting scenarios so you can kind of see how it varies from day to day depending on if it's direct sun. Anyway, I figured I'd go over a couple things, wrap this video up real quick. Everything went pretty well. We got two coats of primer, two coats of red, we got two coats of pearl and two coats of flake, and then two coats of clear on everything, but most of the body got three coats. Uh, everything went pretty well for the most part. Didn't have too many problems. Uh, adjusting that gun pressure back definitely seemed to help keep the runs at bay. I didn't have any runs really until the very end when I was doing some clear coat, just cause that seems extra runny. Uh, I could stand to get better at doing that. But uh, yeah, for the most part, pretty good. I got the clear extra thick on the top of the hood. So it's really smooth compared to everywhere else. Uh, the sides have much more of an orange peely effect. I think I didn't get as much clear on there because I probably got gun shy once I saw those runs on the hood because I basically started at the cowl, then jumped to the front, went across, then came to the sides and went across so that this corner probably got a lot of material on it. I sprayed all this first, worked my way to the back and then went over and did the windshield and the hinges and stuff. And uh, between a couple of the clear coats, I would come back over and I would see like a dry spray dust on top of the hood. It wasn't glossy and wet looking like it was after I sprayed it. So on my final coat, I did all this and I tried to work really fast towards the back to keep it all wet. And then I actually left the windshield and hinges with two coats because I didn't want to risk that dry spray dust on the clear and that seemed to really help a lot so maybe that'll be useful for you as well uh even though we didn't know what it was going to look like it was kind of a wild card a shot in the dark whatever i'm actually pretty happy with how the pearl and flake turned out on this pretty happy with how it turned out for being the first whole car that i've ever painted so i hope you enjoyed this video please like share and subscribe and thanks for watching